Hello students. In today's lecture, we'll try to find out the relationship between true stress and engineering stress. Here, let's consider two samples. One is the initial sample, that is before loading, and then the sample loaded sample. The length L naught. Here it is the length is L, and the force applied is F. Now, engineering stress is denoted by the symbol sigma, which is calculated by using the formula F upon A naught, where F is the applied force, and A naught is the initial cross-sectional area. Initial cross-sectional area. This is the A naught. Now. true stress we do not by the symbol sigma t we can calculate by the formula f upon a f is the applied force and a is the cross sectional area by observing diagram we can say that when such a kind of forces tensile forces acts on a member or a bar then due to this the elongation of the bar takes place change in the length of the bar takes place and the cross sectional area a get reduced a0 is different one and here the area get reduced that is a so true stress is equal to f divided by a where here f is the applied force and uh, a is the current area on which the load acts now you can establish a relationship between true stress and engineering stress that is sigma and sigma t so let's start sigma t is equal to f upon a now i can multiply and divide both the sides by a not multiply and divide by a not then i can write sigma t is equal to f upon a not into a not upon a but we know that f upon a not is nothing but the engineering stress sigma so I, i'll write here sigma t true stress is equal to engineering stress sigma into a not divided by a now we can move further progress by assumption which is true in plastic deformation that is volume remains constant volume of this bar or member remains constant initial volume is equal to the final volume or you can say loaded volume so here in this case initial volume is area into length that is area initial area is a not into initial length is l not this is the initial volume and the current volume is in uh, now the current area is a and the current length of the member is l so volume of the member remains constant we are using this assumption which is applicable for plastic deformation so from this i can write a not upon a is equal to l upon l not and now 
use this substitution in the equation of true stress. So true stress becomes sigma t is equal to sigma into L upon L naught sigma t is equal to sigma now I'll write this L as uh, L naught plus delta L original length initial length plus change in length delta L divided by L naught so true stress is equal to sigma in 1 plus delta L divided by L naught and we know that delta L divided by L naught that is change in length to the initial length or original length is the engineering strain so that is epsilon since delta L upon L naught is the engineering strain epsilon therefore the final relationship between true stress and engineering stress sigma t is equal to sigma in 1 plus epsilon which indicates that true stress is equal to engineering stress times 1 plus engineering strain. Thank you.